We're back. It's the Ball Time Bro Gilbert, and this routine is a classic. It's solid gold. It brings back a lot of memories. I was 16 when I first got this in the mail, and it came with a piece of rope and a big poster that you put out on your wall, and you could follow along all the steps of the routine. Um, I recently saw somebody use this with a story in a Zoom show, and it was very visual and very cool, and I thought this is a perfect time to kind of bring this back into the spotlight. If you're new to magic and you don't know who Daryl is, please do yourself a favor, study everything he's put out, uh, his card work, his rope work, his coin work, everything is top notch, he's a great performer. And this is a masterclass on rope magic and it's something different, visual, effective, wonderful. This is Daryl's Rope Routine. Ladies and gentlemen, the rope of mystery. Watch closely, nothing in the hands, just one piece of rope, an ordinary piece of rope, the kind you can buy in any magic shop. <laughs> It's a good, strong, solid piece of rope. Watch the ends very, very closely. All I do is pass one over the other. They're not really tied together in a knot. They're just sort of draped around each other like this. And if I blow on the ends, that makes them very soft. That makes them very, very easy to remove. You're not laughing now. So now I have a piece of rope that has no ends, just middle. But it's good, strong, solid middle. There are no ends at all. Well, there are ends, but they're over here. All I have to do is take the ends, give a little squeeze like this, turn the inside to the outside, and of course vice versa, and that puts everything back the way it was at the very beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, the rope of mystery. Whoops, <laughs> no, that's an entirely different act. This time I'll take the ends, I'll tie them together with a double knot. That's one, and that is two. Ah. 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 A good strong double knot. Now if I cut the rope any place, of course I'd have two pieces, but I don't have any scissors. But that's all right. I'm a professional. I can fake it. Oh. Now normally what I do is I cut the rope exactly opposite from the tied ends. That way both lengths would be identical. But as you can see today, I'm a little bit off. <laughs> that's all right. All I've got to do is take rope number one like this, put rope number two over here, say the magic words, cuan cuardos, cuadaladas, por llenos a las citas, imagresión, and the ropes restore, ladies and gentlemen, back to the original condition. And there you have it, the rope of mystery. Rope of mystery. Now here's a little something that you can all go home and try. Just get a piece of rope, fold it in half. If you do that, you'll find you've got the two ends together on one side, and opposite the ends will be the middle. But that's not the mystery. Watch closely. End number one. I give a little squeeze like this. It passes through the hollow core and it lands on the other side. Now, for lack of technical variation, I'll repeat the illusion. End number two, a little squeeze. It passes through the hollow core, lands on the other side. So now I've got the ends where the middle used to be. The middle is where the ends used to be, which in itself is quite a feat. Although I seem to be the only one who thinks so. Ladies and gentlemen, the rope of mystery. Now, sometimes when I do this, after the thunderous applause finally subsides, there's always someone that says, oh, I know how that's done. That's a piece of that phony, fake, trick magician's rope. Actually, that's not true. This is not phony, fake, trick magician's rope. I've got that stuff over here. This is ordinary rope. In fact, how about you, sir? Would you mind? Examine the rope, please. Make sure it's ordinary rope. It doesn't stretch. It doesn't shrink. In fact, you might have noticed the ends, the very tips, they have been dipped in glue, and the glue has dried hard. The reason I do that is for the exact same reason that we all have feet. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. No, it's true. Our feet prevent our legs from fraying at the ends. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now, here's a length. I can't let you see the whole thing right now, but I'll tell you what. For you, I'll give you just a little piece. If you'll check that puppy out for me, please. Perfect. That leaves me with this piece, and what I'll do is I'll tie a knot in the middle like this. And if I take that knot and squeeze it with my fist, I can create the illusion that the knot disappears. Actually, the knot is still there. It's just that I'm making it very, very small, and I'm hiding it on the inside. Now, you can't see it, but you can feel it. In fact, it's right there. I can feel the little bump. But rather than take the time to let everybody feel the bump, what I'll do instead is take the rope like this, give it a little shake, and that reforms the knot from the inside out. Uh, how about you? Would you mind examining this rope, please? Make sure it's OK. Now, who has the big one? Uh, that would be you, sir. Let me have the rope back. And in your own words, is this an ordinary piece of rope? 
Ah, excellent phrasing. <laughs> That's right, it's an ordinary piece of rope, and who's got the little piece? That would be you. Ah, very good, thank you. Please notice, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that these ropes are different lengths. Now, normally I don't have to mention that, but every once in a while, I perform this mystery for a crowd that has been drinking, and sometimes the audience doesn't notice. Now, it's very important you notice the fact that the ropes are different lengths now, otherwise what I'm about to do would be even more pointless. Watch closely. Two different lengths. In fact, all three are different lengths. Uh, may I? Three different sized pieces of rope. All I've got to do now is bring up the opposite ends of the long piece, the middle sized piece, and the short piece, and I say the magic words, stretcho, stretcho, stretcho. And the ropes will magically, mysteriously, and therefore entertainingly stretch and stretch until they all become identical in length. Can I hear a hallelujah on that, brothers and sisters? That's right, hallelujah. That's right, my friends, you've got to praise the chord. <laughs> Some of these jokes I do just for myself. Watch closely, three pieces of rope now all identical in length. Here's rope number one. I want you to see for yourself. It doesn't stretch, it doesn't shrink. It's a good, strong, solid piece of rope. But now rope number one is exactly the same length as rope number two, which also does not stretch or shrink. And rope number two is exactly the same length as rope number three. It's a very convincing illusion. Sometimes, though, when I do this, people think I'm using that phony sleight of hand stuff. But that's not true. In fact, to prove there is no sleight of hand involved, I will tie the ropes together. Now, with the ropes tied together, there's no way that I could cheat, even if I wanted to. Ah! In fact, I'll tie these ends together as well. Three ropes tied together, making sleight of hand absolutely impossible. All I've got to do now is gather up the ropes, say the magic words, shrinko, shrinko, shrinko. And even though the ropes are securely tied together, still, they change back to their three completely different original lengths. Now, I don't expect you to take my word for it, so you might want to examine this rope here yourself. The little piece, make sure it doesn't stretch or shrink. Not to be confused, of course, with the middle-sized piece, and that would be for you over here, and the long piece, and that brings this mystery, ladies and gentlemen, to its dramatic conclusion, the stretching ropes of India. <laughs>